the NLRB wants a federal judge in New York to issue a temporary restraining order pushing back the baseball strike deadline, which was contractually set at June 1st or sooner. Once the strike deadline is legally postponed, the NLRB will proceed with hearings and legal action that could force the major league owners to provide certain financial information to the players' union, information pertinent to the current stalemate over compensation, the matter of a team that signs a free agent compensating the team that loses the free agent. Representatives of the owners and the players met in New York yesterday, but for less than 10 minutes. No progress was made. Both sides were waiting to hear what the NLRB would do. If the NLRB gets the temporary restraining order today, and the indications are it will, the players still could strike tomorrow, but probably won't. The players would clearly prefer to study the owners' financial data before going on strike. So the odds are there will be baseball played this weekend, and at least for the next three or four weeks. Dick Schaap, ABC News, New York. The game was over. California had beaten Boston in the last of ten games played in the major leagues yesterday, and the strike was on. Only minutes before the California players celebrated their victory, Marvin Miller, director of the Major League Players Association, emerged from a four-and-a-half-hour negotiating session in New York and announced that all the games were over, at least for a while. We have accomplished nothing. Um, the strike is on. The reports we've been getting indicate that a substantial number of the players are, have already left for home. We didn't want to strike, but we just have no alternative. Starting today, while Ray Greedy continues to negotiate for the owners, the players will negotiate for themselves without Miller present. We may not be the skilled negotiators of those sitting across the table, but we have some very good ideas about some things that should take place in our business. The issue dividing the two sides remains the same. The degree of compensation, if any, a team losing a free agent should receive from the team signing the free agent. That is the only issue that has brought baseball to the first massive midseason strike in the game's history. Dick Schaap, ABC News.